And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time, mind your P's and Q's in the cryptography category. In RSA, a small E value can be problematic, but what about N? Can you decrypt this? And then we get a values file that I'll grab and open. So cryptography can be intimidating because it's, uh, it's underpinned by fairly substantial math and I don't know a ton about it. So yeah, the first thing I would start doing is I would start by Googling and RSA is a public key cryptography system and you can learn more about the math, but it's largely based on factorization of two large numbers, large prime numbers being difficult. As you look down, you can start to see the math behind it and you can see that those two primes are typically called P and Q. Hence the title of our challenge, Mind Your P's and Q's. One of the things about this cryptography that I do know is it depends on very large numbers. And for smaller numbers, it's likely insecure, or at least it can be uh, brute forced. So I started by Googling RSA breaking small N and E, just because for 20 points, we're probably not gonna be expected to find out, figure out a way to break this ourselves. This is probably gonna be something that's easily done. And when I looked down here, I saw CTF RSA decrypt using N, C, and E. And I thought, hey, that sounds exactly like what I'm doing. And that looks a lot like the problem. So that's how I stumbled across this guy, this uh, GitHub page, which has this RSA CTF tool, which seems to be very well liked from the star rating. So, and it talks about all the different attacks it does. I don't know any of these, but uh, it's all very impressive, I'm sure. And it's all stuff I'm not familiar with. So I went ahead and I started installing and I follow the instructions. So you'll see here I already cheated just so you don't have to watch me download stuff. And I've already cloned it. So that was the first step you can see described is clone this, which just means copy it locally. We also needed to do an apt-get, which is a way of installing locally. So, so I've already done that. And then we cd in to the directory and we use pip. So pip is a package manager for Python and the requirements file Come on, where are you? I'm not sure I'm in the right directory. I'm not. That's the problem. Pico CTF, RSA, there we go. The requirements file lays out all the libraries, the Python libraries that are needed to be run. So installing will put it into a state where we can run this. And as I said, I've already done this. So let's go ahead and let's try using it. And let's see what happens. And we get what looks a lot like a man page describing all the different options. And we know we have an N already from looking over at what we got, the, uh, the download. So we have an N value, an E value, and a C value. So there's an N, the modulus. There's a uh, E value, the public exponent. And then uncipher, uncipher a cipher. So we will plug all this in. So minus N, and we'll take our N value, and we'll copy it. C, and this may feel like cheating. Uh, oops, it's supposed to be my C. But really, in a CTF, you're not really expected to be doing anything novel and new and original researchy. It's largely supposed to expose you to different topics and areas, and no one can be a master of all these areas. So don't feel bad using tools. I don't. And we'll run that, and we start getting some output. And then when it's deciphered as UTF 8, we have our flag. So I hope that was helpful, and if it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.